So I'm sure at this point everyone, or at least movie buffs, knows who and what Godzilla is. The King of the Monsters is doing good for himself nowadays, with so many new projects coming out almost yearly since back in 2014. But going even further back into the 60s, Godzilla was on top of the movie making world. So much so, that competitors started to arise, and knockoff kaiju were being created to cash in on the big G success. Now Japan wasn't the only country trying to capitalize on Godzilla's hype. South Korea would bring forth Wang Mangui and Yongeri, Denmark would introduce Reptilicus, the UK would have Gorgo, and for the one we'll be quickly going over, India's own Godzilla, known as Gogola, a Bollywood-style kaiju movie released in 1966, and is unfortunately a lost film, or at least is considered at the time of this video's release. The film was directed by Bawant Dave, who apparently also did the effects for the picture, and it was produced by a studio called Indra Danash Films, whose sole credit only goes to this one movie. They made nothing else prior or even after Gogola. Gogola is often considered to be the first Bollywood giant monster picture. While there is some truth to that, there actually have been other giant monsters in Hindi films. For example, there was more than one King Kong movie in 1962, one with the Eighth Wonder battling Godzilla, and a Hindi film titled King Kong. But it's not what you think. There is no gigantic prehistoric ape going around fighting dinosaurs in this movie. There is however a dinosaur looking thing in the beginning of it, and it's as impressive as it looks. There was also another Bollywood monster picture in 1965, titled The Flying Man. There's not much out there on this one, but apparently the story featured a mad scientist who controlled a Godzilla-looking creature and used it to terrorize the world. And from the poster, the titular character seems to have been a Superman knockoff or something like that. I'm not gonna lie, this poster has me intrigued. There's probably a ton more that came before and even after Gogola, but right now, this is the movie we're going over. So what even is Gogola? Well, Gogola is a sea creature that suddenly arises out of the ocean and attacks the India city of Mumbai, or Bombay as it was known at the time. The military gets involved, they can't stop it, and the aid of a scientist who has a relationship with the main female lead creates a unique weapon to try and kill Gogola. From what little information is out there, Gogola seems to be a very run-of-the-mill giant monster movie for its time. There doesn't seem to be any origin behind the beast or any themes the picture is trying to tell. Gogola just appears and causes havoc. The main characters are a couple named Kumar and Asha. Asha's father is a scientist trying to come up with a miracle drug that can cure heart diseases. This leads into a whole other story that is going on with them while the monster plot is occurring separately. The father's in debt because of his research, his daughter then tries to bring money in by becoming a cabaret dancer. La Checho, the man the father's in debt to, tries to put the moves on Asha, and then there's this whole back and forth between La Chichu and the main cast. Meanwhile, the military failed to stop Gogola, so they announce a reward for anyone who can kill it. The father uses his research to come up with a super weapon that could defeat the monster, and if it's taking any more notes from the original Godzilla, minus the tragedy, then I'm assuming all goes well in doing so. Apparently a lot does happen in this movie, with Gogola destroying various cities, and Lachichu trying to sabotage the attempt to kill the monster. And believe it or not, this movie's runtime was over two hours long. Compared to other kaiju movies at the time, this was Lord of the Rings, in terms of length. I wouldn't say quality. The monster costume, to me, doesn't look all that impressive. Coming off as something you'd see in some early Ultraman or Super Sentai shows. Nah, maybe something a bit more obscure like Ambassador Magma. Apparently it also took at least three people to operate it, which I don't see why that would be, but I like to imagine there was some complexity behind the suit that made it look cool while on screen. Like maybe when it did its fire attack. Yes, apparently Gogola had a fiery breath attack it shot from its mouth. How the effect was pulled off, I couldn't say. It was most likely with a tube placed in its mouth, similar to that of Gamera and Yungiri. Which hey, those came out around the same time as Gogola did, so why not? In fact, 1966 would see a plethora of giant monster pictures popping up all over the place. And sadly, this movie seems to have gotten lost in the crowd. It also didn't help that this picture bombed at the box office and was heavily criticized. The failure of the film was likely a reason as to why it slowly faded away into obscurity. But what did happen to the movie, you may be wondering. The unfortunate fate of this movie is relatively unknown, 
but many say that the original film's negatives were likely lost in 2003, when the National Film Archive of India caught fire, destroying the film completely, leaving behind only a handful of promotional material, a censored transcript, and even some of the soundtrack. Like many pieces of lost media, I'd like to imagine that there's a copy of this movie just sitting out there in some private collector's basement, just waiting for the world to discover it. Will the India Kaiju ever resurface for the public to bear witness? I guess only fate will decide that. Thanks for watching. Is it echt? Niks meer echt? Jawel, de nieuwe Venko dropstaaf. Echte drop, de echte stevige trek.